Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me. I thought I haven't done a get ready with me in ages and I'm off to London today. So I thought I'd film myself getting ready for you. Enjoy! So I'm going to start off using my all time favourite primer and that is the Benefit Professional. I just absolutely love this, like the feel of it. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. This just gives your foundation such a good base. Next up, I'm going to be using the Dior Star Foundation, which is a recent discovery for me and I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to put this on the Nancy Buffed Base brush and then apply it to my face. Dior foundations can obviously be quite pricey but I think it's generally worth it for a foundation like if you're going to invest in some good makeup at least make it foundation because I think your skin is just so important especially like while you're young you don't want to ruin your skin and this just gives such a nice medium to full coverage you know I like quite a full coverage. This is perfect for that because it still looks really nice and natural. Actually that reminds me guys, I always like to share things that I've found with you in terms of makeup products because I know a lot of you are always like oh I wish I could buy that but I don't have the money. So um, I came across this website which is called Opinion Outpost and basically it's completely legit. All you do is share your opinion for money. It's like companies, research companies want people's opinions on things like TV and food. So you literally just go on there, tell them what you think and you can make money. And then you get paid in either cash or you can get Amazon gift vouchers or an iTunes voucher so yeah it's super good for those of you who are like still at school and you don't really want to get a job you're maybe too young to get a job thousands of people have already signed up so just if you're wanting some extra cash I will leave the website in the description below for you guys but I promise you it's all completely legit I've used it before so I wouldn't recommend anything that wasn't safe for you guys you can do it literally sat in your bedroom anyway so next up I'm going to be using the Topshop concealer which I absolutely you love. I'm going to be taking this on the Conceal Perfector brush from Nancy. So I'm just going to take this under my eyes because oh my god I'm so tired today guys. I woke up bright and early just to film this for you because I am off to London. So I'm just going to put this on any blemishes that I have, any red areas like around my nose and stuff and just blend that in. This concealer is just so nice because it's quite light but it gives really nice coverage. Next up is my favourite powder which is the Collection Lasting Perfection Powder and I'm just going to put that on my T-zone and under my eyes because I always seem to get shiny under my eyes like in the bags and then it just emphasises how bad it all looks. And this is of course a Nancy powder brush. Okay so I'm not going to go too heavy on the highlighting and contour because I don't really see the point like in the day but I am going to be using this NARS stick in Coco Cabana. I actually got this from ASOS Beauty. I never really knew they did like so much good beauty stuff. So I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones. I absolutely love Benefits One What's Up so I was like I need to try this one out and it just gives like the most gorgeous glow. I'm just gonna blend this in with my fingers and it's super easy to blend. Next, I'm gonna be taking NARS blush in Orgasm. It is so nice. I'm using an Anchi blush brush for this and I am just going to sweep this over the apples of my cheeks. Start from here. I was taught at a makeup masterclass that you're supposed to start your blusher from here and do it in this sort of motion like you would contour. I just love the colour of this blusher it just gives such a nice like just nice healthy glow like I think it just pretty much will suit any skin okay so next up I'm going to be using a new brow product which I got recently which is the Kaylin Gelux eyebrow this is an American brand and it's actually exclusive to Love Me Beauty which I really wanted to share with you guys I've included a few bits from them in this just because I just want to show you how good it is basically Love Me Beauty is a subscription beauty box which you can get and it comes in this really cool box which I really liked it's like gold and silver as you can here there's 
stuff inside there. And then this little cute bag has loads of goodies, but what makes it different to all the other ones is you can choose exactly what products you want to get, so like there's not that potluck as to whether you're going to like what you get in the box or not, and you can like create a profile online and just say what your skin type is, what your hair type is, and all that stuff. So it can create a profile and like personalise your choices for you, and they've got so many different things on there, like they've got loads of beauty products like nail varnishes, hair care, skin care, and the best thing is all the things in the box are full size, so with other subscription boxes where you get like just little sample sizes, this one you get full on full size products and it is only £10 however I have a code for you guys which gets you 50% off and that is MADDY50 don't worry I'll put it in the description below but if you do that you get everything for £5 they've got things like Nail Zinc, Lord & Berry, Lip Coat loads of amazing brands it's such a bargain especially for you guys who want to try out like high end products but you can't necessarily afford it but anyway this is a really cool product you unscrew this bit and you've got the eye gel and then the brush comes out of the top it's like an angled brush so using this I'm just gonna underline my brows just because I think it gives you like a point to work up from and I'm just gonna fill them in this is such a nice gel because it's so soft and easy to blend I'm just going to take this Cryolan translucent powder on the Real Techniques buffing brush. Let's just light into them up a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with eyeshadow and I'm not going to do anything too fancy because it's just a daytime look. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Oh my god can smell it from here, I absolutely love this. And first up I'm just going to take this shade which is Mousse and I'm going to be using the large shade of brush from Nanshi. I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. Oh my god, I've already got some excess. Well done Maddie, didn't tap it off enough. That's the great thing about blending. I'm just going to blend this with the blended eyeshadow brush from Nanshi. This brush just literally works wonders. Whenever I make a mistake, I'm just like, let's get the blended brush out. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this one, which is Truffled. And it's just a darker brown colour. And I'm going to take this on the Nanshi crease brush and just put it in the crease of my eye. I'm gonna get my blending brush out again. Okay, and to finish off, I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Rum Raisin shade. It's just a bit more of a metallic y one, and I'm taking that on the large shade of brush again. And I'm just gonna pop that like sort of in the middle towards the edge. And finally, I'm gonna take this gorgeous shade, Coconut Cream, and I'm just gonna put that underneath my brows, just to sort of lift them up a bit. And I'm gonna take that on this powder shadow brush from Benefit. And then with this tapered crease brush from Nanshi, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that Coconut Cream on the inner corners of my eyes just to make them pop out a little bit more. So now for eyeliner and that again is coming from Love Me Beauty. This is also from Kaylin. It's in the same sort of style with the brush on the top and then the little gel here. As you guys know, I wear winged liner every single day so I always like trying out new ones. I start by doing the wings first and then go on to the eye because I just find that easier.
Now it is time for mascara. And I'm gonna be using one of my new faves, and that is the Hypnose Mascara from Lancome. But first, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, as I always do, using the Tarte Eyelash Curlers. I actually got this mascara from a website called Save On Makeup, which has loads of like high-end, really good makeup for so cheap. This mascara was like such a discounted price, and they've got like everything on there, like Mac, Clinique, and they've got high street stuff as well. That is mascara done, and now it's just time for lips. I'm gonna put a bit of this lip balm on first, which is from my Love Me Beauty box. I love this lip balm because it's clear, and it is the Malin and Goetz Mojito Lip Balm. So I'm just gonna literally just dot a little bit of that on my lips because my lips can get quite dry. It's nice to keep them moisturized, and I just absolutely love the smell of this. It's really nice and limey. I think I'm gonna go for my favorite lip combo at the moment, and that is Max Spice Lip Liner and Matte Honey Love. So I'm just gonna overdraw my lips a little bit with this. Now time for my favourite lip colour at the moment. I literally only got this the other week and it's gone down so much. Okay, so that's all my makeup done. Now I'm gonna move on to my hair. And I thought I would curl it today just because it's something different. I'm gonna be using this little baby, which is the GHD Curl. I'm literally in love with this. So I'm just gonna give my hair a little brush through with my tangle teaser. God, I always have my hair up in a bun for when I sleep at night because I hate it getting all in my face, but that usually means that it goes all weird the next day. I'm just gonna put the top section of my hair up. My hair feels so much nicer now it's short. I'm just gonna brush it through and then I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a hairspray and then I'm gonna go on to the other side. So I'm just gonna brush this side out. I'm gonna take the top down. I'm just gonna brush this all out, put a little bit of volume in it, just do a little bit of back combing so it doesn't look so like. Okay, so that is my hair done. I'm just gonna give it a little spray and I will be back with you in a minute when I found an outfit. Enjoy 
enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it and make sure you go and check out the lovely beauty boxes and do use my code if you do order one and I will also leave the link for the opinion outpost website that I mentioned where you can make money from just giving your opinion so yeah I will see you very soon guys bye